So, I've got pulleys going bad. What? Okay, so this is the second one that I'm changing, and right now it's seized up. But I jumped on the mower last week, and it sounded like a grinder. It just was making a racket. And I traced it down to this. These are kind of noisy too, even though I've greased them. But I'm gonna grease them some more. And this is the second one I'm changing in two weeks. The other one self-destructed completely. So I'm not sure about this belly mower. I mean, anybody who watches my channel knows I brag about this little tractor all the time. I love it. I love this little tractor. I like the deal I got from uh, Matt up at Binghamton, New Holland. I think he did a great job. He got me exactly the tractor that I need. It's 25 horse but a large frame, so it doesn't wind up needing the DEF and the uh, DPE and the EIEIO and all the crap that they put on them now for environmental purposes. But the mower deck, if I remember right, is right around $6,000. I don't see it holding up real great. Um, these pulleys through New Holland are like 280 bucks, and luckily Matt and Nikki up there they used to deal Land Pride, and he said, well, what about a Land Pride pulley? We got any left? And they did, and it looked matched up exactly. So the Land Pride pulley was like $68. So maybe even like Tractor Supply might have these pulleys laying around up there. It's kind of just a standard flat pulley. And uh, yeah, New Holland wants 280 bucks for it. So they were really proud of that pulley, although it lasts for, well, these lasted for about three years. And I'm mowing this, you know, it's probably about... That's close to three acres by the time I figure all the mowing I do. So three years, three acres. I'm starting to run into these issues, which I think a little early. So I'm kind of thinking I should have got a zero turn instead of a mower deck. I spent six grand on a mower deck. I mean, it works good on the hills where I don't think a zero turn would be great up there on the hill. It's pretty steep. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I should have got a zero turn? Do you think I should, still should get a zero turn? If I got a good one like a Ferris, we're looking at probably over 12, less than $20,000. I'm not sure what to do about all that. Anyway, I'm gonna get working on this thing. I gotta finish putting the belt on. I gotta finish greasing. We're gonna take care of it. Wow, that's making a difference already. coming out the bottom so I did blow the seal out. Well you know what? There was must have been no grease in there. I put put two inches of grease in it. Yep. Blew that seal out too. Well for the most part I don't like doing that. Now I've blown that seal out. There's grease coming out and I don't know, but at least I know there's a bunch of grease in there and it's quieter now. Yeah, it sounds much better. I don't know how you guys change grease cartridges, but I stick them in and before I release the plunger, I always leave this loose. I figure that's where the air can escape first. Of course, it could be a mess if I don't have it on there tight enough. But I think I do, and now I'm just gonna snug it up. Nice and snug. I think we're good to go now. I'm gonna finish greasing. Well, I gotta fess up. My clever trick did not work this time. I am fighting with this grease gun to get it primed up. It just doesn't wanna go. I can pump on it, no grease comes out. I hold it, now just a little bit's coming out. Starting to get frustrating. But hey, that's what happens with these things. There we go. Oop, moved a little bit. This gun usually works good too. Just doesn't want to pump. It's gotta be an air pocket in there causing this. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have to struggle with this thing this much. Yep, here we go, pull it apart. Let's see what's going on. Maybe there's something in there. Something's sticking it. Oh, you idiot. 
I left the thing. <laughs> I didn't pull the cap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this might work better now. Okay, I just spent 10 minutes. Okay, I didn't pull the cap. Ah. Uh, now, let me go back to my clever little trick of not over tightening it so it's loose so the air will come out. This is why I'm wearing gloves. Some of my gloves are covered with grease. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, I could hear it. I could hear it moving. I don't believe I was ever gonna get grease out through that cap. There you go. Well, there was an air bubble in there, but that wasn't the problem. Back to greasing. Now the grease is moving. That's 10 shots. Nope. Well, I've blown out all the other ones. This one's still noisy. I'm just gonna blow them all out. Seven shots. Yeah, better do another 10 shots. There we go. Now, they're all thoroughly greased. You can see grease all over the place. I might as well finish up and grease all these up too. I do not want to blow out the uh, seals in these universal joints. So just a little bit in there. Now this slider, pretty much the most important thing to keep your universal joints. Because if this slider don't slide, it, it'll eat the joints up. Oh yeah, we got that now, nice. And this guy here, I got grease all over the place. I'm gonna go in with my finger now. I'm gonna grease this guy up, all those splines. Mainly so I can slide it on easy because I got to crawl under the tractor to do it. And I really hate getting under there and it's hard to push on. And when it doesn't slide well, it's difficult. And I don't want to fight with it. But now I'm, I'm greased up now. All right, I guess the next step is put the belt on. Okay, now the fun part spring tension. Oh boy, a little nervous. Don't mind telling you. When I took this apart, a wrench flew. So. That's scary. All right, so I got tension on it. How much can I do? Oh man, perfect. Whew, that's a relief, got that done. Okay, looking at this thing. Our grease gun uh, decal, and this tells us the belt routing, which I already know. And this tells us where it's made in Canada. And this tells us it's made in China. Oh, man, you just can't escape it. to pretty much relearn this every time. I probably don't really have to crawl under here. If I just left the bucket up, it would have been out of my way. But let's see if I get this right. Up, uh, up in here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Where's the, where's the pin? 
I do gotta relearn this every time. And this, it's on this side, okay. Got it. Wow, it's positioned pretty good too. Next step, I gotta get that guy hooked up. I don't know if you guys can even see that. I gotta drop that arm down there. Looks like this has to come this way a little. It's kind of heavy. So we'll try to do the easy one first, I guess. That's in. That looks like it's gonna line right up. But I better get the other one in too. Oh, it looks like it'll pop right in pretty easy. I got that lined up pretty good. You can see this guy, this guy's down in here. And then once I get it in position, I'll drop the pin in. I think they could have made this a little easier. Oh, I got it though. Ha! Pinned in. Let's go do the other side. Got to roll the deck back. Up and to the back a little. I think I got it. Oh, the drive shaft's in the way. Well, that ain't a nuisance. I think I got it started. I'll have to get a hammer and tap it. We good. So now I gotta crawl underneath the back. That's the way I found is the easiest to get the PTO shaft hooked up. Cause it's got the mid mount PTO. I just gotta kinda crawl under here, oh my gosh. I gotta push the slider back. Well, I got it started. Last time I did this, it was a nightmare. No problem this time. That grease really helped. Whew, now I gotta crawl out of here. Ugh. Wonder why all my clothes is dirty all the time. Well, we got this thing all hooked up. Let's see what it sounds like. Like, share, subscribe. I guess I got the mower going, hon, so I'm gonna go mowing. Okay. I'm gonna mow the yard. It's still noisy, but you know, I think it is what it is. Um, and I, I really can't blame the mower deck so much. It seems like a rugged built deck. The thing is, those pulleys they use on it, that I'm actually finding them online now for probably around 30 bucks. New Holland wants 280. But anyway, those pulleys just aren't real great. I mean, they, they hold up for a while. I guess it's just the fact of life. And anything with that, with those kind of pulleys, it's gonna be the same way. It's gonna be Land Pride has them, uh, and a, a slew of other, I couldn't even list all the manufacturers that use those pulleys. But thing's still noisy. I'm gonna mow. Go mow. Until it breaks. I'm gonna cook. And then we'll do another video on my broken mower. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys liked this video. See you on the next one.